Good morning. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But to have that everlasting life in heaven with God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, the Holy Spirit, you have to accept him first. You have to accept that free gift of forgiveness, that free gift of redemption. Jesus came to this, this world to live a life as an example of how you are to live your life. Uh, and he even when he left this earth, he sent the Holy Spirit so that we, because we can on our own not do it. So we have help from the Holy Spirit to help us live that life that Jesus wants us to live. So please accept him as your Lord and Savior. Say, God, I am a sinner. I have sinned. Please forgive me, forgive me for what I've done. Heavenly Father, I know you sent your only begotten son, Jesus, to this earth to die for my sins. I want Jesus to be the Lord of my life. Father, let Jesus be the Lord of my life. Send your Holy Spirit to live on the inside of me that can guide me, teach me, counsel me in the ways that I should go, God. Let Jesus be the Lord of my life. Jesus came. He died on that cross. He shed his blood for my sins, for my forgiveness, for my redemption, for my healing. Heavenly Father, he shed his blood. He was in that tomb for three days, God. And then he rose. He rose from the dead. He came out of that tomb, Lord. And as a friend told me, you know, when Jesus laid that cloth there, he folded it. Letting you know he is coming back. Thank you, Ron, for that, by the way. But anyway, he is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. Because if you do not accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. First of all, if you do accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Jesus went to heaven. He was ascended into heaven. He went to prepare a place for us so that one day we can be with him. And then, if you accept him when you die, you go immediately to be in heaven with Jesus. If you do not accept him as your Lord and Savior, no matter how good you are, no matter how uh, awesome you are at church, no matter how awesome you are at helping people or whatever it is, the good works that you do, even so, there is only one way to eternity eternal life with Jesus Christ, and that is to accept him as your Lord and Savior. So please, before it's too late, because none of us know the day or hour of Jesus' return, none of us know the day or the hour that we are going to die. We do not know that. It could be right now. It could be this second. It could be uh, today, tomorrow, whatever. You don't know. So before it's too late, just accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You know why? Because he loves you so, so much. But yeah, but you say, if he loves me so much, why would he allow me to go to hell? He will love you all the way to the gates of hell if that's what you choose. Because he loves you so much, he gives you that freedom. And before, before it's too late, accept his gift of grace, his gift of redemption. Because he loves you. I love you. God loves you more. Don't you ever forget that. And don't forget the challenge. If today you mess up, repent, ask God to forgive you. And then ask God, how in this situation, what can I do to show you God in this situation? Hey, I love you. God loves you more. Have a great day.